It's lunchtime. Or, if you like, it's lunchtime here at Coffee Comics. Welcome to the Sworn Nation. Let me know when you all are in the room. Got some fun stuff for you guys. Some really cool classics today, folks. Classics in the catacombs. Oh, I should watch this on TV. Maybe. Good morning, Bob. How's it going, dude? How are you? How are you feeling today, by the way? Good to see you. Good to see you. I was going to pretend I didn't have sound uh, like I did to Haley yesterday, which kind of blew her mind, but um, I figured I did that joke once this week. I'll stop doing it twice. <laughs> How have you been, Bob? Um, I hope you've rested well. I know you've been doing better, and uh, I'm looking forward to all the fun little gadgets you're going to be posting. Um, so great. Hey, Eric, how's he doing today? Good morning or good afternoon, whatever it is. I'm hungry, though, so I'm looking forward to some stir-fry after this. Let's see. Good, good. It's always good to hear that uh, y'all are doing well. Eric, how are you? How's the life? Are you guys doing well as also? I put up some fun classic stuff, classics today, um, like deep-cut classics, like things I didn't even know existed classic. Yeah. I, I'm sure Carmen or uh, Eric or someone else will probably scooped them up already. <laughs> so, anyways, um, real quick, good afternoon, everybody. We're almost through the week. It is Wednesday hump day. It is December, jeez, uh, 9th? My God, it's December 9th. I was kind of hoping December would go a little slower than last month because it seems like last month... Um, it was Halloween and done. So, you know, and, you know, not like November is really anything too special, but you know, eh. Ace, what's up, man? How are you, Carmen? Carmen, how are you, Carmen? All right, everybody. Let me uh, start off by saying I got some new, but I mostly got classics, and it's stuff I didn't know about until uh, I did some deep digging in a very old box. Old box. Lots of cool old stuff. So let me just introduce for the first things first. Let's show something new. I got here Hell Witch, Hellborn, number one, Kickstarter edition, slabbed. Look at that. It's a 9.8. This is a universal. This is not signed. And look at our mock up, or I shouldn't say our mock up, our uh, homage is uh, number 13. So you look at that. Two grades inside one package. I only got one of these. It is a universal. That's it. I only have one. Only 25 of this edition were made, by the way. So this is technically a um, uh, publisher file at this point. So I'll make sure I'll put a little publisher file in there for whoever picks that up. And uh, for everyone picking up this last stuff, uh, I've been loving the photos of you guys posting um, the stuff you've been uh, getting. Uh, it's really cool to see uh, who picked up what and uh, just seeing the excitement. So thank you for sharing, guys. I really love it. I think it's one of my favorite things to do is uh, look at your guys' replies. So let's get some uh, other new stuff out of the way. I found uh, a Hellwitch Gallery Naughty Paramore edition. Yes, I found one. Uh, there might be some more in the store, so do some looking around and pick them up. Another thing I found that uh, had previously been sold out, but found another one in a box, deep cut. Lady Death Gallery, this is the 152K edition. Jay, it wouldn't be a show without you. Welcome, welcome, welcome. How are you? Sharing, yeah, sharing is caring, man. I love it, I love it. So make sure you guys are doing your part. So one of the most interesting things I have and this is a classic. This is going back to 94, I believe. Uh, Visual Anarchy, I believe, was the... Uh, yeah, Visual Anarchy was the publisher. Um, and it's an anthology comic from copyright 1994. The Creative Force Designs. Uh, in here, it's Night Cry number one. Now, one thing that's really neat about this thing is Brian has a story in here uh, that he wrote, Alien Evil, 
Uh, it's going to be page 15. Leonardo Jimenez is the artist. And there's a pinup art by uh, Osvaldo Fernandez. <coughs> now these, um, I didn't know what I was going to do with these um, until I did some more looking into it. And also inside of here, and these are all as-is copies. Uh, like I say, these have probably been in the same bag of boards for, God, 20 years maybe. But I, I'm switching everything out and making them nice and pretty for you. But... There was a character called Razor that was hot uh, in the early 90s, London Night Studios. I really liked the character, um, pretty fun stuff. Um, and I never knew that one of, uh, one of my favorite artists who did Superman, um, and I just love his superhero designs, uh, Ed McGinnis. So of his earliest work is in here, in this book. So uh, not only do you get a Brian Polito story, you also get a very cool early look at the artist Ed McGinnis. And I love his art, I really do. It's a very um, cartoony, um, almost like Batman animated adventures, Superman adventures kind of style. Very animated, but very dramatic, very heroic. Batman and Superman have the very big heroic chins. Um, so he's one of my favorite Superman artists. And one of my favorite artists uh, when he was doing stuff with DC, I followed him when he went to uh, Marvel and really loved his stuff. So if you're a fan like me that likes to collect early stuff from creators, uh, well, here's a really cool one for all you Brian Polito completists. I have about five of these, I believe. Um, but once they're gone, they're gone. This is it. I have yet to find any. Um, so if you want a really cool, um, God, this, is, this might even be pre-Chaos era, Brian Polito stuff, so definitely check it out. Night Cry number one. They are my last copies. Also, there's a beautiful cover by Simon Bisley, so you can't go wrong with that either. So, three big folks in the industry in this little book right here. So, I highly recommend it. Um, this is probably uh, one of the things I'm most excited about um, that I'll be presenting to you guys today. But there is one other that just takes the cake just a little bit. I'm sure someone's probably already picked it up. Uh, noon, every day at noon. Um, so they should be up now. I'm hoping so. If not, I'll have to jump on over and say, hey, things ain't live yet. Uh, let me know if they're not, Eric. Um, also, hi, everyone. How are you today? Thank you. Oh, let me put up a display of the Night Cry number one. Very fun book to find. These are my last copies. Once they are done, they are done. Hasta la bye bye. But wait, that's not all really cool classics I found. I found a very cool, couple cool things. Um, like this one right here. This is the sneak pre preview of Dead King. Very awesome, awesome. Nothing up yet. All right, let me uh, let them know. Guys, we've just been really busy pretty much uh, here at HQ to get you guys caught up. Um, we are all hands on deck, uh, so Jimmy and I aren't even in our offices. We're actually in the warehouse uh, with Brandy and everyone, so everyone is all hands on deck. Uh, we're all working in the warehouse, packing orders, trying to get everything out ASAP because there's a lot of stuff uh, that we're going to be sending out to all you beautiful people, so you should be seeing them show up. Actually, you already started seeing some of them show up. Um, thanks for showing the pictures of the coffin editions. Those turned out really good. I uh, made all the metal ones. Uh, that was a lot of fun to make. Uh, something at a different size. Um, kind of a weird way I had to figure out to get it to work where I could get a nice flow going. So um, we'll have the stuff up on the catacombs here in a minute. Thank you for just letting me know. What? Slipping? Hey, I, I don't do stuff like you guys don't want me to do computer stuff. I'd probably blow up the world if I did anything with a computer. So, <laughs> anywho, um, 
Let me show you what else I got. Um, I'll let you guys know when the stuff goes live here in a minute, but I got someone working on it. But one thing that was really cool about this, this is a nice little 12 page preview of Dead King and it's in black and white. So you got a nice little preview. I think this is was old Chaos Club stuff because on the back you have the sign up sheet and there's the old Chaos Comics address and stuff like that. But yeah, this is really cool. So this was a cool find. Um, it's not often I, I get to find stuff like this. So this type of stuff, uh, when I find it presented here, are amazing. Let's see. Do you guys have Florian J set for a first? I know right now the last of the orders are being picked. There's actually not that many orders left for that Kickstarter. And then from there, it's double checking in a packing. So uh, we're almost there right now. We're getting out the store orders and then the Kickstarter. We've got everyone else who's not packing orders or picking store orders and, and whatnot. We're actually um, running through and getting Kickstarter set up so I don't have an exact date for you but I do know we're at the stage where we're going to be starting to pack up a whole mess load of stuff the boutique will probably be full of boxes uh Brian's been sharing the photos of uh what we got packed so I know I packed a few of those kickstarter orders so those should be out to you soon um so yeah you'll start seeing the notifications our system will be Boom. Hey, by the way, catacombs are live. Get them while you got them. Some of this stuff, I only have onesie twosies. So let's show you the next awesome, deep item I found. It's another sneak peek preview. It's for the Omen. I actually I was able to get two copies of these. And again, it is a 12-page preview. Chaos Classic. Nice, beautiful black and white. I used to love black and white comics. It used to be that was all I bought was like, uh, you know, Faust and uh, Razor and um, a lot of other really small press books. Uh, there's something I really loved about black and white comics and, and the, the publishing of the indies that uh, it got me hooked on a lot of manga titles uh, like Blade of the Immortal uh, was a favorite uh, of mine to flip through and read. Uh, Akira was probably my all-time favorite manga title. So if anyone hasn't read that, that is a very epic tale I highly recommend if you're a fan of the film. All right, another deep, deep cut. This is really neat. Um, Todd, we bring back the ash cans. Well, I got a Chaos Comics ash can for The Haunted. And this was a uh, series that was going to be presented by Peter David, Nat Jones, Kevin Conrad, and Todd uh, Robaker. I'm sure I messed that up. But yeah, uh, I got one of these. I was really excited to find it. Uh, Carmen, did you get all the little messages? Uh, <laughs> I left you in all those because I think I packed almost all of them. So... <laughs> I hope he got the little silly message that he left. <laughs> so I got one of these. This is the Haunted Ash Can. I only have one, especially if you're a Chaos Comics classic. There you go. There's only 999 of these made. Um, so this is a Chaos Classic. And another thing I found, this is the last one. <laughs> right on, Jay. Um, this was really cool. Um, I wish I, I had more, but one thing I will say about this, this is a number two. Now I've been slinging comics for 26 years, uh, most, uh, retail stores. And one thing I found out over my years is issue twos tend to be harder to find than an issue one. And that's because traditionally after the first issue of a comic comes out, Stores we traditionally will trim back because we don't know what the sales are yet on that item So we trim back just in case hey if it didn't sell that well, you know I'm not stuck holding the bag or I don't have a ton of issue twos to go along with my ton of issue ones so I Have found number twos are harder to find and that's why I was really happy to find a Chucky 
Issue number two from Devil's Due way back in May 2007. Bam! I found one. This is the only one. And it's a number two. So uh, whichever one of you got this, I, I know it's going to go to a good home. So it's great. Oh, my God. Well, uh, when you open them, um, hopefully you open them in order. Uh, but if not, have a good time, Carmen. It, it's a lot of fun. This is it. The only Chucky comic I can find that Brian wrote. Um, gosh, I hope I can find more. I really was hoping I could find more than just one. But that's all I have for Chucky. Um, I'm, looks like I'm going to have to do some deep hunting soon. All right. So Jay, I have, uh, he already uh, scooped it up. I have two Static X editions that are signed by Brian. They come with the Static X CD. These were published by Chaos, of course. They have the old school COAs, uh, old school coffin COAs. So I have two of these available right now. Both are signed. And I do have one that is still sealed, not been opened. Bam. Still sealed, not open, not signed. Still in the original poly bag. <laughs> Again, this is fun stuff. I love finding the old stuff. It, it really brings me back. We <laughs> make me realize, wow, I have been doing this for a while. When Brian says uh, we're barnacles, he, that's true. We are barnacles. Next up, another Static X. This is the um, art, comic book art cover. It is signed by Brian. I have one of these, and it does come with the CD and the COA. So, Jay scooped up one. Uh, Jay, did you get the art, or did you get the photo cover? Oh, dude, that's awesome. Very cool. Wow. Um, Carmen, you're going to love my little messages. Jay, that's cool. Um, did you always uh, work with bands, um, uh, street teams, or was it like a one-time thing? Just curious. All right. Another classic from comics I have. Who, who, who the heck is messaging me? And it's Frozen, it looks like. You got the art. Dude, Yeah. Good job, because I don't have much of the arts. I don't know why this is froze. It's probably my phone. My phone is horrible. Yep, there it goes. That's my horrible phone. Someone decided to message me. Another classic from the Chaos Era. Now, this was really neat. Um, I had uh, a couple of these that were signed. Um, this young lady is no longer with us. She's passed away. God, I think it's almost been a decade now. But I have the China number one. This is from Wizard World Chicago. Mike Diodato Jr. is the artist. I have two of these. This is the Super Premium Edition. So I have two of these. And one thing I liked about, another thing I noticed at the back of the old Chaos stuff, we had the little like COAs printed on the back. It's like, here's the China number one. It is a super premium edition. And it's awesome to see the old WWF logo. That's awesome. I don't care for the WWE. It's like, eh, it's such a boring logo. WWF. Miss the WWF. But there was only a thousand of these made. I have two. They're as is. These are another thing that I found. Um, digging around. I had some on eBay and I found a couple more. So I was like, yay, I have a couple more. Uh, I wish I had some signed by her. I, like I say, I did have a couple signed um, by China. Uh, Joni Lawler, Lawler, I believe it was her last name. Uh, but yeah, uh, I, I wish I had more, but that's it. And I also still have to present to you guys today. This is the China 2 premium cover. This is the second series. Actually, it's a one shot. Um, Again, you got the cool certificate of authenticity Brian used to do on the back. Um, there was 3,000 copies. This is the premium edition. So once these are gone, these are gone, unless I find some more. But so far, um, I have had no luck finding some of this stuff. So one-time thing for you. 
Nice. Yeah, the, I'm glad you got the art cover. Um, I have, I had mostly uh, photo covers and very few of the art, so you may have gotten it. I don't know. I'll still know more. Um, as they do more digging through stuff. Excuse me. Um, bad heartburn today. Oof. All right, let me get a drink. Also, let me put out the VIP newsletter. It's got a lot of information. Um, one thing I need to announce, uh, if you're a Hell Witch sacrilegious, kick, uh, sacrilegious Kickstarter backer, please check your email for a survey from CrowdOx to complete your Kickstarter order. The deadline is Friday, December 11th. So that's this Friday. Um, 5 p.m. Mountain Standard Time, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So get those surveys filled out, complete your orders. Um, also, I mentioned on Monday that we do have the pop-ups crypt is open. Um, that will close Friday, this Friday at 5 p.m. Mountain Standard Time, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So if you backed us and there was some stuff you uh, were like him and hot on, well, now's your last chance to scoop them up. Yeah, the news, I agree. This newsletter that Carmen's talking about, this is one of the most informed newsletter I've ever seen from a publisher. Um, we share not only, you know, hey, here's what's coming up in this product, um, that there's little um, exposés on, you know, artists that work with us, you know, hey, here's a look at, uh, I think we did Joel Gomez, uh, you know, and we've done Don McKay. So there's a lot of really cool information you get in here. Uh, Treacherous Infamy Kickstarter update, all hands are on deck. Um, yeah, we, we are working, um, late. Uh, we got a bunch of us that come in early. Brandy's getting here at 5 a.m. to get this stuff, uh, Kickstarter already and scooped up and ready to get packed and sent out to you guys. So you know we'll do videos. You know we'll be posting about it. Um, but we are all working extra. Um, I work an extra hour to two hours every day while I'm here and I come in on Saturdays to help this out. So we're all here. Just, you know, we're here. We're busting our butts. Uh, we're all tired, but we're all having a good time because uh, we're fulfilling your orders for all you beautiful people that have backed us. So thank you very much for supporting us and backing us. And um, you'll be seeing your packages soon, trust me. There's still not enough box porn photos. This is, this is weak sauce compared to the other box porn photos I've seen Brian take, or heck, even videos. Yeah, yeah, it, it's it's really great. It's not, it's like, there's like little interviews. Um, so yeah, uh, we did an update here on the Halloween Spooktacular uh, shipping update um, the week of December 7th. So you're already seeing those hidden people's um, mailboxes. They're all over the internet sharing their photos with all their pretty stuff. So um, another thing I'd like to announce is the Lady Death Seductress statue uh, will be shipping in early January. Uh, I know Moonshine Mel and Nick have been uh, letting you guys know uh, the information, uh, letting you know if you, need, if you need an extension, reach out to us at inquiries at coffincomics.com. Uh, so Mel and Nick have been uh, taking care of that on the back side of us while the rest of us uh, have been out here picking up uh, all the orders and getting all the things done. So, oh my God, I'm almost out of time. Uh, so I got six minutes. Um, with you guys. Um, I'm really loving, uh, I think I've decided, I think the Wednesday shows are my favorite shows. <laughs> um, some other things we've included in the VIP's newsletter. Um, we spotlighted on homage editions and prints that are available. So there's the Hell Witch Forsaken homage, which is a homage to uh, Hulk 181, first appearance of Wolverine. We also have the Morta Retaliation, so we've got books and we've got prints for all of you to check out. And not only that, it also lets you know, you know, shipping updates. Hey, we've got this going on here. Hey, here's this. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. We got a YouTube channel, lots of good information. Sometimes they put my scruffy mug on there. Yes, it's true. Dude, Greg! <laughs> What's up, man? Hey, real quick, um, I finally 
I'm getting all the orders out. Um, I've had some orders on eBay that need to get signed and they just kept getting skipped because right after Brian is um, doing, signing all the stuff, he jumps right in there and he's packing orders with us. So we're all doing it and we're all doing it for you to make sure things are out on time. All right. So yeah, we, we, we actually work for you guys, just so you know. We're always busting our homes to make life better for all you beautiful people who love all the coffin comic stuff. All right. Yes, um, join the Swarm Nation Facebook group. I highly recommend it. Uh, share this with your friends. Have them join up. It's a really great group. We're always having fun. We're always doing the good things. So, uh, a couple things. We also got coming up Monday, I'll have some more groovy items for you guys. A lot of classics you'll be seeing coming up on the catacombs. So keep your eyes and ears peeled. Um, so yeah, I'll be putting up a lot of classes up. There's gonna be a lot more of the medieval Lady Death uh, issues coming your way. Pretty much everything I have left in stock. Um, I might have found out uh, about some other cool things. Um, I'm hoping to find some more signed numbered stuff. Um, there actually is a box that has, says S and N, so I'm hoping there might be some sign number stuff, classic stuff from back in the day. So I got my my eyes open for that one. Let's check my time because I gotta jump out of here, have my lunch, and start packing up some orders. So another things I'd like to mention, uh, we did a really big year in review. Um, that's part of this newsletter that really shows you how this year's been. It's been a weird year for all of us. Um, but uh, I think this group of people and all you guys, the community we've built here around Coffin Comics and Lady Death, La Muerta, and Hell Witch, um, I think we we survived it all because we were all together. Um, I saw just a really amazing community come together during this weird year. Uh, you know, when you have weird things happen, you figure it's only going to happen for a little while. Well, this one's gone a little longer. It's definitely changed our lives, but um, I've seen the community grow. Uh, I've seen people back each other up, and um, thank you. I don't think we could ask for a better group of fans um, to support us than you guys. Uh, I just see a lot of people coming together, helping each other out. You know, everyone's buddy-buddy, and... It's beautiful. I actually like it. So uh, without further ado, my last thing I want to announce is there's a holiday shipping advisory. Of course, uh, <laughs> it's the silly season, and it's an even sillier season this year. So expect uh, <laughs> expect maybe some slight delays with the holidays. I have been bad, and I haven't even sent out any of the gifts that need to get sent out. <laughs> so they'll probably be late. Um, but anyways, thank you very much for joining us. I gotta jump back in there and pack up some orders for you guys and start packing up some Kickstarter to get those uh, into your beautiful people's hands. So I'm Julian the Hooligan, I'm sworn to you. Thank you very much everyone. I will see you Monday at CBSN. Have a wonderful weekend, make it your own, and bless you all. Happy holidays. Oh my God, it is all holidays. Oh my God, Christmas is around the corner. <laughs>